The National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, is an independent agency of the United States federal government responsible for the civilian space program as well as aeronautics and aerospace research. But for a long time now, people have been growing increasingly distrusting of them and even suspect the agency of attempting to hide photographic evidence of important discoveries from us. From monkeys and rockets to men on moons, these are five leaked photos NASA doesn't want you to see. Before we begin, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. That being said, let's begin. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Number 5. The Genesis Crash there are plenty of photos that NASA has no opinion on. For example, this photo of one of the people who works at our channel picking up a chick. NASA doesn't care if you see that. In this photo of a bowl of chili chicken ramen, NASA has no opinions on if you see that. But there are some photos that are doing the rounds on the internet that conspiracy theorists will have you believe are leaked photos that NASA does not want you to see. Now, I know what you're thinking. If NASA were really that desperate for you to not see them, wouldn't they get them removed straight away? If NASA were really that desperate for you not to see them, then how did we, a humble YouTube channel, get our hands on them? Well, to that I say, just... Uh, just, I, I don't know. Just watch the video, okay? Who knows? Maybe this video will be online for 24 hours. Maybe NASA's gonna take it down. Maybe they'll come for us. Just watch the video and justify my existence. Now it's time for our first photo. On August 8th, 2001, NASA's sample return probe Genesis was launched. It was the first NASA sample return mission to return material since the Apollo program, and the first to return material from beyond the orbit of the moon. But the return sample crash-landed in Utah on September 8, 2004. With it being launched in 2001 and then crash landing in 2004, that means it missed the cinematic releases of the entire Lord of the Rings trilogy, which is a shame. Don't know if it cared, but if it did, that's a shame. The crash contaminated many of the sample collectors. Although most were damaged, some of the collectors were successfully recovered. It's long been speculated that because of how disastrously the mission went wrong, the Genesis is a source of great shame for NASA. As a result, photos of the crash are said to be rather embarrassing for the organization, a bit like seeing a photo of yourself with an old haircut you now think is dumb. Let's move on to the star topic. Here's a leaked image that was recently sent in by one of you. What in the living world is that? Doing a bit of research, we found out that this exact photo was placed inside the deep web as one of the images that NASA is trying to keep secret. Supposedly, it looks like their rover took a picture on Mars of what looks to be a city. Could this be true? Could there be humans living on Mars and we actually don't know it yet? Or could it be a hoaxed image? Comment down below with the hashtag star topic and we will pin the comment that best explains what is being shown on this image. That being said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. The Delta II Rocket Explosion Sometimes people do an incredible job, like when Lucasfilm made The Empire Strikes Back. Sometimes the very same people do a terrible job, like when Lucasfilm made Attack of the Clones. NASA have done lots of remarkable things, like when they landed Neil Armstrong on the moon, but they've also made some epic fails. GPS IIR-1 or GPS SVN-42 was the first block IIR GPS satellite to be launched. It was to have been operated as part of the United States Air Force Global Position positioning system. It was launched on January 17, 1997 and managed a remarkable flight a mere 13 seconds before being destroyed by a malfunction of the rocket that was carrying it. Imagine embarking on something only to fail so spectacularly a mere 13 seconds later. No wonder NASA wants all photographic and video evidence of the explosion taken care of. Debris from the explosion fell into the Atlantic Ocean and on the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Some debris landed around the launch pad and a small fire started. Other debris landed in the parking lot outside the complex blockhouse, destroying 20 cars that were located there. 250 tons of debris fell within 300 feet or 910 meters of the launch pad. One piece of debris made a hole in a cable track, allowing smoke to enter the blockhouse. Residents of the area around the launch site were advised to stay indoors, close the windows, and turn off air conditioning systems as a precaution, as some vapors from the fuel could be irritant or toxic. The explosion was reported to have been felt 25 miles or 40 kilometers away from the launch site, and damage to store windows 10 miles or 16 kilometers away was reported. Number 3. Space Monkey 
In the current era, animal rights are getting better every day. Testing on animals is no longer the norm. In fact, if a corporation is proven to use animal testing as part of the development process of their product, they're usually faced with so much scorn from the world press and media that it's hard to recover their image. That's why NASA tries to cover up all photographic evidence that they use to use monkeys. And it's true. Monkeys went into space long before we did. Before humans went into space, several other animals were launched into space, including numerous other primates, so that scientists could investigate the biological effects of space travel. The United States launched flights containing primate passengers primarily between 1948 and 1961, with one flight in 1969 and one in 1985. France launched two monkey-carrying flights in 1967. The Soviet Union and Russia launched monkeys between 1983 and 1996. Most primates were anesthetized before liftoff. Overall, 32 monkeys flew in the space program. None flew more than once. Numerous backup monkeys also went through the programs, but never flew. Monkeys and apes from several species were used, including rhesus macaque, crab-eating macaque, squirrel monkeys, pig-tailed macaques, and chimpanzees. That's an entire intergalactic menagerie! These photos show proof of NASA's slightly outdated practice of using animals, and it doesn't exactly show NASA in the best light. Not by current workplace standards. The first primate astronaut was Albert, a rhesus macaque, who on June 11, 1948, rode to over 63 kilometers, or 39 miles, on a V-2 rocket. Albert died of suffocation during the flight, which makes photographic evidence of him being prepped all the more embarrassing for NASA. Albert was followed by the dynamically named Albert II, who survived the V-2 flight but died on impact on June 14, 1949 after a parachute failure. Albert II became the first monkey and the first primate in space as his flight reached 134 kilometers or 83 miles, past the Karman line of 100 kilometers taken to designate the beginning of space. There was also an Albert III who died in an explosion at 35,000 feet and an Albert IV who died on impact. Either NASA liked naming monkeys Albert or it was one heck of a coincidence. Incidents. Number 2. Evidence of Fakery? NASA doesn't want you to see this photo for a different reason. NASA doesn't want you to see this photo because it potentially exposes the moon landing as a fake. And ever since this photo leaked, conspiracy theorists have used it as one of the key pieces of evidence in their theory that the moon landing was faked. And why? Well, as you can see, the photo clearly shows Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin in a film studio. They're wearing their suits, the lunar landing is set up, there are even rocks scattered across the ground to simulate the texture of the moon. This is a very real photo from within NASA's archives that clearly shows them mocking up the infamous landing in a studio. Surely this proves once and for all that the conspiracy theories are right, that the moon landing never took place, that it was all staged for camera in a filming studio somewhere. When quizzed about the leaked photo, the official statement from NASA was that this is a photograph from a training session in order to prepare Armstrong and Aldrin for the actual moon landing that took place three months prior to the event. But this hasn't convinced the theorists. Number 1. Moon Man when Neil and Buzz visited the moon, they did not meet anybody who was there, proving the moon isn't home to intelligent life. But maybe they were lying, or maybe the moon's resident shadow monster just popped out of the shop that day, because more recent photos seem to show some kind of strange creature slinking around the moon. It's dark and shadowy, but noticeably human-like in shape. YouTuber Wow For Real was the first, from what we can tell, to find the photo and included it in one of his videos. He found it using Google Moon at the coordinates 27342625 north by 19364.75 west. Naturally, the internet is alight with theories. Is it a man who was left behind? Is it a man from a parallel world or a time traveler? Is it an alien who is humanoid in shape or a shape-shifting alien who has taken a human form? NASA, which has checked the image against its trove of images from the same location, is shrugging it off. But then again, they would, the great big spoil sports. We have other images that do not show any imperfections, so most analysts believe the image reflects nothing more than a tiny piece of debris on the lens. 
Jones. A tiny piece of debris that just so happens to be perfectly human-shaped? Suspicious, to say the least. Although, when that very point was raised, the NASA scientists pointed out that humans tend to use this ability to enrich our imagination and recognize meaningful shapes even when they're not there. Seeing familiar things in random objects is a known aspect of human nature known as pareidolia. This is the tendency to interpret a vague stimulus as something known to the observer, such as seeing shapes in clouds, seeing faces in inanimate objects or abstract patterns, seeing Jesus' face in toast, or hearing hidden messages in music. Common examples are perceived images of animals, faces, or objects in cloud formations. But people aren't quite buying NASA's statement and think the organization knows exactly what it is, and are merely lying because the photo is one of their own that is leaked and that frustrates them. Do you think NASA are really trying to hide these photos from us, or is the agency blunt and honest and to be trusted? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!